Yeah, so I'm gonna get him dressed. I don't know if I really don't know if like I'm gonna show you this newborn. Normally, if you have a newborn Carter's outfit, they used to could fit like preemies. Hold on. Oh, can you guys? Oh, I guess I can scoop back. But they used to could fit the preemies. I'm mad about them clothes sizes, child. That's why I keep talking about it. But they used to could fit the preemies like you would get um the um uh, the newborn. You can get newborn Carters and it would still fit preemies. But not no more. You can't put that newborn on no newborn size on no um preemie now. Because the newborn size almost look like zero to three months now. It's crazy. So I don't even know how he if he go if he can even fit fit it because he's petite so i'm gonna see but um one thing i gotta do and i keep forgetting is i wanna um i wanna go ahead and um put switch his strings out for zip ties but i keep forgetting I guess when I do that, I'll go ahead and add him a magnet, too. I plan on putting Memphis on one of these, so I'm going to try him on. Let's see. Because he's wearing that little bird. I'm going to probably, let me just see. I'm going to just try. I just want to try him on this just to see. He ain't going to wear it, I don't think. I just want to see if. He can. It's really not good to do that. It's really good to just clip it with scissors, but oh well. Just to see what it what it fit like, guys. I'm just so over it that I can't believe that they actually, you know. And just an FYI, I have done like two, three videos, long videos like that, um, and deleted them because. I don't know. I just sometimes I feel like I'm just, you know, saying too much. And I just feel like the dog community don't really care about heavy topics as much and just different things. And some stuff I think I'd be oversharing anyway. And I was just like, yeah. So it kind of messed up things because, you know, it was nice changing videos with some of the babies and stuff. But yeah. So. Um, so he actually can fit this. It don't fit too bad. It's a little bit longer. And like I said, they are still a little bit bigger. But, um, it's not bad, actually. Look at that. It's not actually, it's not really bad. Um, look at you. You actually can fit it. And I need to get him on his hat right here. I'm going to put him on his hat. There we go, my man. See? So, okay. So now, I'm going to put him on this. You know, I've really been enjoying doing what I do lately and it's 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 so cool I've been working on some side projects and you know it's been kind of refreshing um even though like I said I got a couple few a couple more obligations to fulfill and then I'll be you know really freestyling totally um but it's been feeling pretty good that I've been able to really get them done so I really think that the key to like doing like custom orders or private orders is not taking on too many at one time. And it depends on the customer that you're doing it for too. So I think like if you do like, I don't know, for me, I think one order at a time, maybe two max would be 
okay, but mainly probably just one. And one that like don't really have really high expectations or time frames. Um, probably would be okay. Um, right now I'm not planning on doing it anyway, but I'm just saying if, if I did do them in the future, I don't know why. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, maybe that give them a little bit more room. But that's how I would do it because these little orders that I've had, like I have, um, like I said, a private order, but that one was completely free, and I don't expect people to just allow me just to do whatever the hell I want to with their money. So I totally, you know, get people not wanting um, to just say, oh, I'm going to pay you X, Y, Z, and you can do whatever you want. Um, some people, if they, like, for me, I've done it a lot with a lot of artists. Most of my customs was never really custom. Only thing I ever said was probably, like, I wanted light skin or dark skin or in between somewhere or something like that. And they went from there. Um, but that's when I totally like everything that the artist does. And that's kind of hard to say because sometimes you think you like everything they do. And it's not really you like everything they do. But, um, I have done it. Like, mo like I said, most, most of my customs orders in the past, only thing was selected was the kit or the scope. And that's it, um, pretty much. Um, you know, they may ask if I have a hair preference or something like that. But I've really pretty much always given artists, like, f total freedom. And I think it's always worked in my favor. You know, even some artists, people have been like, she always do her best work for you. And it's like, oh, I probably because it's actually her best work and it's her creativity. And I'm not dictating to her so she can just flow with it. So, and I say she as in general of the artists that I've worked with as a whole in the past. But, um... Uh, yeah, and I've had a couple artists that actually enjoy talking to me, like, while they paint and work, too, and that, that was cool. But, yeah, so, anyway, that's, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, you know, if I ever do it in the future, it would have to be, like, an easygoing customer and, um, like, only one. Because I work a lot for myself. I basically paint for myself. And so if, you know, with me painting for myself, I have a lot of stuff like lined up, projects started, and I get frustrated when I can't finish something that I really, really am, you know, hyped up to do. It's like, you got to get this stuff out your head. And then there's like, sometimes I want to try different things and I can't try it on somebody else's baby. But anyway, we done talked about that stuff a thousand times before, but I just have to keep saying it. The other thing is, what's your jersey? Pop pop. I think I'm going to keep him as a ball baby too. I don't think I'm going to say him to get rooted either. I think I'm going to start keeping some of my babies ball. I know that sounds crazy. And a lot of people in this community I find, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not judging you. I'm kind of here, but I'm not judging you really. You do your thing. People like to go with what the norm is and what everybody else is doing. And I'm kind of a little different like that. I I do love my babies with hair, but like it's not some babies, depending on their head shape and how they look bald. I have found that I am actually like liking them more. Oh my alarm is going off. Um time for me to become the cook. So anyway, um, but yeah, so that's just me. That's just like everybody going on and on about like the Benjamin kid and stuff. And I've seen some beautiful versions of them, other kid and stuff. And I got, you know, I bought a couple of them. So I've sold one so far, but I'm thinking about selling the other two. I have absolutely no desire to paint that, that skull. None whatsoever. And I, I'm holding it just in case maybe I do get the urge to, to try to paint it at least one. But right now it's like, I don't even, I don't, I don't particularly 
care for it. And, you know, I don't want to knock nobody else, baby. Like I said, I've seen some that look very realistic and look very cute and stuff. But it's just a couple things about the kit that I just don't particularly care for. So, I don't know. But, you know... It's a limited edition, and I get it because I love limited editions, and it's sold out. I love sold out editions because that means that everybody in their mama is not going to have it, you know. And so I, I, I like that aspect of it, but I got to feel it to paint. Like, if I don't feel it, I can't. I don't, I don't feel like I'll be able to paint it, but I don't feel like I'm going to do a good job. Sometime now, I'll start painting a kit. And as I go, I will be, like, really falling in love with it more and more. But, yeah, it's a it's a no for me right now. I'm just being selfish and holding the kids because they are sold out. And I don't know if a year from now I might want to paint it. I don't know. And I kept two because, you know, one, because, you know, the first time you do it, then the second time you be like, oh, I wonder, because I wish I would have got two of Maggie's because... Even though I didn't particularly care for the legs on Maggie, I love the Maggie face and I would love to have the opportunity to paint a Maggie again. So that's just that. So I'm just weird, I guess, if you want to call it that, or I have my own mind. And that's kind of like something the community frown on. If you have your own mind, your own way of thinking, the community, like, they shun you for that a lot of times. Some people be like, ah, I like that you are the way you are, but then... You get a whole bunch of, you know, pushback <laughs> for being different or not going with the the most popular opinion or thought or idea. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys. Um, guys. I, like I said, I have a lot going on. I thought about doing a haul. I can show y'all this bathtub. It's right here. I got another project that I'm working on that I got to go and take care of some stuff. I'm trying to disconnect from the, well, I ain't going to get into that. That's none of y'all business. But, um, so this is the bathtub that I got. And it's, oh, this ain't going to be good. I'll have to show it to y'all later. But, it's, it falls down. And that's what I like. And it's not that big. So I bought this because <sighs> I was excited and expecting a baby. But hopefully this other sculptor come through after the doll show with this other sculpt I've been waiting on and hoping. And hopefully I'll be, that turns out to be good because so far I've had two situations where it just things just did not unfold right for me. And it's just been rough on the collecting spectrum for me. Um, oh my gosh, stuff just been crazy, crazy, crazy. If y'all ever, 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 ever got to hear about some of the behind the scenes stuff, you guys will be like, oh my gosh. Like, I literally, one day I was like, you know what? Maybe I just need to quit painting, quit. Quit all this, like just sell everything and just find a new hobby. <laughs> Oh my gosh, the emotions. But anyway, I know y'all love Jersey. I love him too. Um, his artist is Asha from Pickles and Tea. And um, so he's a little pickle and I love him. I love his little face. That's my main thing. I ain't gonna lie. That's my main thing about him. I just love, I love his face. Um... I think she painted his face really, really nicely. And I just, I love it. I love the face. I love your face. I love your face. I want to paint this kit again. You know what I'm going to do? I got something I'm going to do. I need to, I'm going to be in a pole house if I keep up with these ideas that I be coming up with. But anyway, I'm going to talk to y'all later. I just came up with an idea. Bye.